guy that came and got one yesterday, he's a contractor, and he was talking about the same thing that so many other contractors are talking about, and that is I used to be able to do, you know, X number of jobs at the same time. I had a crew here, a crew here, a crew here, and they don't have any crews anymore. The, 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 the labor is gone. The labor market's gone. I don't know where they are. I, where are they working now? They're, they're gone. Uh-huh. And, you know, they're the ones that they do have, they're having to pay extra to keep them. So now the labor costs, so not only the, the construction costs are higher mm-hmm. to, to do what we need to do, but the labor cost is, is again, just making it almost impossible to build new houses, to do the big rehabs. It's, it's it's tough out there. Yeah, I mean, where where is all the labor gone? I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's easy to point to like, oh, it's COVID related. You know, perhaps people are still flush with cash from their from all the stimulus, from, their free money. <laughs> from all the stimulus <laughs> and all that. I don't I don't know the answer to that. But I mean, I know on my projects, I've had the exact same problem. Yeah, you know, I can where I used to be able to get you know, five or six guys at a time to show up, it's one or two. Right. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's crazy. Um, and hard to deal with, but this too shall pass. Right. I hope so. I hope this isn't the new norm. (laughs) Well, that's what we love about real estate is that the market's constantly changing. I really do love it. I, you know, the, the job that we do is, is called problem solving. That's really what we do. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, uh, uh, different every day. Yeah. And as soon as we learn one thing, it goes and changes into another. So that that's normal. And we love it. it that's, that's why we're all in this business. One of, one of the things that I love is, uh, I don't, I, you know, I hate it too, but um, everything repeats itself, but yeah. not in the, not in the same way it did before the, the effect, the effect repeats itself, but the cause is always different. Yeah. So we keep learning from the past and applying it and then getting surprised that oh didn't even factor that in <laughs> isn't that called insanity <laughs> so <laughs> repeating the yeah, same so, thing so you know these, these same things keep happening um and it's real estate's you know not insulated from that uh, anomaly as well you know it's this this when we say like market cycles they do cycle and people are like oh the market's going to cycle it just does this every 10 12 whatever years <clears throat> it's like yes it does right you know we give or take but not for the same reasons. That's right. Not well for the said. same reasons. So everyone says, you know, like, oh, 2008, and we're using that data to, to you know, kind of quantify and predict what's happening here. Mm-hmm. Won't work. Mm-hmm. Because if we knew that, we would have already fixed it. That's right. <laughs> so you can't know the problem, the solution to the problem and not know the problem. That's right. So like, you know, we don't know the problem because it hasn't presented itself. That's right. The only thing you can do is remember the sting mm-hmm. from the last problem you had and put as much uh, protection and due diligence around you as you possibly can on that. Yeah. You know, one of the <laughs> best things to do, and it's, it's, it's what we do and we just do it by, by natural uh, design of, of uh, what we lend on you want to lend or, you know, insulate your risk by not trying to find the, the investment that will make you the most money if things go right or whatever. You want to find the investment that will lose you the least amount of well money. <laughs> so that's why we are well in said. single family homes because every now and then we hit a home run. Yeah. We don't hit home runs every day, but man, we know when we, what we stand Singles to lose. Singles and doubles are good yeah, all day yeah. long. And every now and then we, we strike out and, you know, we, you know, we lose a little bit of money, but we know that loss. We know what that's going to be. That's right. That's right. You're, you know, when, when you're going for this high yield, you know, high reward kind of thing, you can't like a, uh, like a flux in the market can take, Oh, I'm going to make $40,000 on this and an anomaly in the market occurs that you didn't know was going to happen. And now you've lost $200,000. Yeah. <laughs> and it with, happens. Yeah. When, with, with what we do, it's like, Oh, the market turned. Okay. We lost $10,000. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, we can, we can stomach that. That's right. So it's just knowing what you're willing to lose and, and being in those assets that, you know, they have the, they may make you money, but you know, they're going to lose you the least amount of money. That's right.